Good evening from London, or should I say evening all. Uh, it's a fairly nice evening here in London. Hello from me, Dr Dermot Hudson, the Chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Duke de Chairman of the UK Korean Friendship Association and Official Delegate of the Korean Friendship Association for the UK and President of the Association for the Study of Sungan Politics. Uh, today I made a short uh, uh, video uh, to address some current uh, topics. Uh, firstly, last week on the 13th of August, the uh, 16th uh, meeting of the Political Bureau of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party Korea took place, at which a number of issues uh, were discussed. Uh, but to the top of the agenda was uh, COVID-19 and the flood uh, damage in the DPRK and uh, respected Marshal Kim Jong-un the chairman of the Workers' Party of Korea uh, said uh, that the DPRK would not accept outside aid for the uh, flood uh, damage and I think this was an absolutely uh, correct uh, decision. Uh, the DPRK, with its duce based socialist system and self reliance, uh, will recover from uh, the flood damage by its uh, own efforts. Uh, it is indeed true that uh, uh, accepting uh, outside aid could uh, result in the intrusion of the deadly COVID-19 virus uh, into the uh, country. And moreover, uh, the, the imperialists always try to use aid uh, to undermine socialism, to uh, strangle uh, socialism. Secondly, uh, yesterday on the 19th of August, the sixth plenary meeting of the seventh Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea took place. Uh, it was a, uh, a attended by uh, many uh, many uh, people uh, because uh, plenary meetings of the uh, Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea are a bit like a party congress. The plenary meeting took the uh, momentous and epoch-making decision to hold the Congress of the Workers' Party of Korea in uh, January 2021. And this will be the 8th Congress of the Workers' Party of Korea. And it will decide on a new five-year plan. Now, the supreme principle of the Workers' Party of Korea is the improvement of people's living standards and indeed this is the supreme uh, people um, supreme principle of the DPRK uh, it's actually in the constitution so any shortcoming uh, in uh, toward in achieving that goal uh, should be taken very seriously it's not uh, a mere academic issue it's a very uh, serious uh, one. So uh, the report of the decision uh, to hold the 8th Congress of the Workers' Party of Korea uh, did uh, say that there had been uh, shortcomings uh, in, uh, you know, in achieving uh, sort of uh, economic goals. However, uh, this has been very maliciously interpreted by the spin doctors of the mainstream media, the uh, big lie machine of imperialism, uh, which is talking about failure and even some kind of crisis. Uh, this is uh, false. Uh, you know, the DPRK is simply, try, uh, you know, addressing shortcomings. It's going to look at uh, where party policies have not been implemented and it's going to take measures to rectify the situation. Uh, you know, 
if the imperialists uh, want to find uh, an economic crisis, they should uh, look no further than their own countries. Uh, for example, recently in Britain, Debenhams, a major retailer, went into liquidation, uh, threatening 14,000 jobs and uh, economic output in Britain is down by 20%. Uh, however, uh, you know, not one shop in people's career has closed down. Has the Pyongyang department store number one gone bankrupt and closed down? No, it hasn't. Uh, media reports from the uh, DPRK have uh, shown that the shops are well stocked. And indeed, uh, delegations of our organisations have visited the DPRK in 2018 and 2019, and we didn't see any obvious effect of sanctions on the uh, DPRK economy. Uh, the shops seemed well stocked. They had many domestic products in them and uh, prices were unchanged between 2018 and 2019. We should stress uh, that the DPRK's economy is a planned socialist economy. Uh, it is not affected by a capitalist crisis. It is free from the contradictions of uh, capitalism and it is free from the anarchy of the market. Moreover, it is an independent and self-reliant economy and is able to combat the uh, extreme and harsh and Cronian sanctions of the imperialists. Uh, therefore, uh, it uh, will win a final victory despite what the imperialist doomsayers are saying. I think we need to rally around people's career. Uh, we need to do more uh, to tell people about the achievements of people's career and we need to uh, do more to defend uh, people's career. Uh, so, you know, this is what uh, uh, UK KFA and the British Group for the Study of the Duke idea will be doing. Uh, we're hoping to resume online uh, uh, events and uh, also real life events as well and we would ask for your support uh, thank you for watching this uh, video have a good evening and stay safe goodbye